dog's been injured for um, for several days now. Watch, watch, watch. The back right leg is the injured leg. We believe it was injured from a lion. And we do think that this hyena is um, is trying to gain some sort of advantage to, to kill and, and eat this wild dog. Hyenas are one of the few predators that will actively hunt other predators. These sounds are absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. So the, uh, for, for those of you that might just be joining us on this action broadcast on whatever platform you're on, the African wild dog is not, is not related to a domesticated dog. It's also known as an African painted wolf. That hyena is much bigger, much, much bigger than that wild dog. Oscar, you're curious to know where the pack is. Oscar, the pack has left this dog. Usually packs are very good at... Um, keeping injured ones with but this one is injured enough that it really can't keep up with that pack so that pack is left and they are busy hunting they came to visit past the side excuse me uh, late last night slash early this morning um, but unfortunately it's to the detriment of the pack if they stick in this one area because they won't be able to to hunt properly I've got another vehicle. You'll hear it. Uh, you'll hear the the sound just behind us. Who's coming to join us? We do share this um, this property with other um, other lodges. Amy, you are so right. It is it is ruthless and it is part of life. And Amy, I'm glad you're enjoying it in the same way that I'm enjoying it. Which is, I actually have goosebumps, and I don't necessarily want the hyena to get the wild dog. But the hyena's job is to take care of, to take out the old, the weak, and the sick. And unfortunately, this, this wild dog happens to be one of those. Sorry, just excuse the noise behind me. Um, I've just got a, another vehicle that's come through. I'm just uh, busy filming, filming live for all of you on this action broadcast at the moment. Um, I am going to have to re position the vehicle a little bit better. Um, Senzo can also see a little bit of a of a better viewing. Um, so if you just give me a second or two, we're not going to miss too much action. We will um, move around for you, that's for sure. We're just going to push our nose down a little bit more um, and, and see if we can get a little bit of a, a different, um, a little bit of a different glance for you and as I say that it looks as if the hyena G strain dog you're curious why not save the dog everyone this is wild these are wild animals these are not pets um, we do not interfere we just are lucky enough to see wildlife doing what wildlife does um, human interference in most circumstances of wildlife is not for the better. We have a lot of emotions that go through a scenario like this or any sort of scenario where you have a, a tough a tough thing happening, but it is not necessarily for the better. The hyena's job is to eat, but its job is also to take out the old, the weak, and the sick of any sort of species. Um, and, and although it is heart-wrenching with this wild dog, there's nothing wrong with what's happening here. Um, so it's very hard to detach ourselves as humans with the emotional side of things. It is very, very difficult, but unfortunately that is something we have to do in a scenario like this. And then we have to appreciate the fact that both of these species that we're currently with um, are allowing us to view them. So the reason why the hyena moved a little bit now has to do with that vehicle that came past us and then a little bit with me as well positioning positioning my car was just a lot of noise um so unfortunately for us um we have interfered a, a titch with with this scenario it, it couldn't be helped unfortunately i needed to move away from the road so that uh, that that vehicle could could carry on um and this hyena is now debating whether or not it's going to go back a hyena is very um tenacious with the way that they hunt and the way that they um, 
harry their their prey so i do think he's going to go back john you're curious to know are there any lions around john there's lions that aren't as the crow flies too far from us but the pride that's there is not a pride that usually um it usually comes down this far south. If the lions were to come again, then they would definitely kill this wild dog, but they wouldn't eat it. If this hyena kills, kills the wild dog, it will eat it. So this hyena is now deciding if it is worth to stay and try and finish off this wild dog, or if it's going to move away for now. I have a feeling that its choice is going to be to move off for now and then wait. I do think that that's what's going to happen. So unfortunately the, the, the noise levels as well as the, the dog's ability to chase off that predator has, even in its state, has made it so this hyena is sort of taking a breather and taking a break. It's actually not that far from us at the moment. It's just on our left hand side and it's busy listening and investigating and, and, and deciding. It's a male hyena. So hyenas live in clans of females with young, the males are more nomadic, as it were. And he's going to move off a little bit. There we go. Now again, I know it's a very difficult sighting that we just had, but I cannot even begin to describe you. I've been guiding for just over a decade, and I've never seen something like this. I've seen bits that are very similar to this, but I've never seen something like this. So this is an extremely exceptional, albeit harrowing, sighting. All right. Well, thank you, everyone, for joining us for, for the action broadcast. I do appreciate you coming in and viewing this amazing sighting with us. There's our dog there. So please continue to follow us um, along other channels, YouTube, or follow us on Twitter with more questions or comments, hashtag Safari Live.